Ramadan Mubarak. This is Brother Cornell West, and I am very blessed and honored and privileged uh, to speak in strong solidarity with my Palestinian, my precious Palestinian brothers and sisters who are struggling for freedom, struggling for dignity, struggling for security, struggling for justice. That I come from a people, a hated people who for 400 years have been dishing out deep love in the face of that hatred. I come from a people who have been terrorized for 400 years, who have been dishing out great freedom fighters in the face of that terror. I've come from a great people who have been traumatized for 400 years and produced wounded healers. And there's no way we can talk about love of truth and goodness and beauty and for me as a Christian, love of the holy, my Muslim brothers and sisters, love of the holy as well, without talking about solidarity. And that solidarity is based on a spiritual integrity. It is based on a, an attempt to stay in contact with each other's humanity in our resilience and resistance against forms of domination and forms of oppression. And of course, it's a love that embraces everybody and therefore tries to stay in contact with the humanity of each and every one of us, no matter who we are, no matter what color or gender or national identity. But at the same time, it puts a, pre a premium and a primacy on those folk who are suffering, those Franz Fanon called the wretched of the earth. And for too long, Palestinian suffering has been rendered a taboo issue, especially in high, certain high places in the United States. No serious discussion about it. Acting as if our precious Palestinians don't exist. Acting as if somehow we can avoid and deny their struggles under, be it the apartheid-like conditions. West Bank, residences, but no citizenship. East Jerusalem. Precious Palestinian brothers and sisters outside of the Middle East, in exile, in the diaspora. You see, those inside of the state of Israel itself, citizens, yes, but still second class citizens, still wrestling with forms of discrimination. All of these various levels and contexts in which Palestinians around the world have their humanity so often pushed to the margins. That's what I stand in solidarity with. And that's true for any oppressed people, be it in Latin America, be it in the Caribbean, be it in Africa, be it in Europe, be it in the Middle East, be it in Asia. And my legacy, or at least the tradition that I build my practice and witness in regard to the legacy of that of Martin Luther King Jr., is that of Fannie Lou Hamer, is that of Ella Baker. And it's one that brings together precisely the love warriorship, the freedom fighting, the wounded healing that leads toward a solidarity with my precious Palestinian brothers and sisters. All of us accountable, all of us answerable, but in the end, we have got to go down fighting for something bigger than ourselves. Hatred of no one, hatred of injustice. Loathing of no one, a loathing of domination in whatever form it takes. And let us never in any way give in to despair. Let us never sell out. Let us never give up. Because in the end, we're going to turn some corners. And when we turn those corners, we're going to see the sunshine of a better day.